Hi everyone, it's Maya. Welcome to my capsule wardrobe tour. So I've been wanting to do this tour for quite some time. I just have had trouble really paring down everything to be 33 items. I am using Courtney Carver's method of having 33 items, not including what I'm wearing now, <laughs> um, as this isn't gonna make the cut. But these are all the pieces that I love. I'm gonna just talk you guys through them. This is uh, kind of going to be an all year like capsule wardrobe. I live in Southern California, so we don't get really heavy winters here and uh, we don't really travel that often. So I don't really need a variety of like really super warm clothes or really super cold clothes. So this is just everything that will last me within like Southern California temperatures. And I'm not including my outerwear, loungewear, athletic wear, and sleepwear. So that's like a whole separate category, but this is kind of what I wanna work with. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So the first item is a pair of white skinny jeans. These are from AG, Adriana Goldsmith. I've had these for three to four years. I love these jeans. I love that they have a distressed hemline. I love that they don't have a pocket sewn in, that it's already shut so you don't see a pocket lining. And they're not very sheer, which I think is a really hard like part about finding a good pair of white skinny jeans and I love pairing these with you know any of my lighter weight tops um let's say like a gray sweater this orange blouse or this like blush top I have. So these really can be transversal to me. I, I've even worn this outfit to like a really nice brunch with heels. So I feel like white jeans can be dressed up very nicely. The second item that I'm gonna talk about is my eight gold. These are the Parker cutoff shorts and I recently purchased these. I took the plunge and bought them. And I have to say there is a reason that they are the best selling like cutoff shorts. And I just love the way they fit. They don't have a lot of stretch to them. So I would say order, don't go smaller, which was a recommendation for me. I'm at normally a 28 and they told me to order a 27, which I should have just gotten a 28. But I will say the fit and the way they look they're not tight around the thighs they're just such a great short and i've already worn them quite a few times i love pairing this kind of denim like a lighter wash with white this is a great little top from lulu's i've been wearing quite a lot with this color of denim this is my favorite current and elliot t-shirt i have this in black as well that I'm not showing here because I don't want it on my capsule wardrobe, but it's just such a comfortable, great t-shirt. I love these slip silky tank tops from Cami, New York City. I also have this in black in my capsule. But yeah, these are such a great short and I feel like, and, and not that I would wear a heel, but maybe an espadrille wedge or something like that. They could be dressed up as well. So I think they're a great like option. I'm including also a little darker wash of a denim short too in my capsule. These are from Amazon, but I like that they are also high-waisted and not tight around the thigh. Um, this is my second like summer that I'll have these. And then these shorts are from One Teaspoon. These are great. They're also high-waisted and not too tight around the thigh. These are such a great short. I wore these all of last summer and I just love wearing black on black in the summer. This is another Cami New York City top. These tank tops, these are actually from a brand called Chaseor. I'm not really familiar with the brand, but I just fell in love with the ruffle and open back detail and I kind of just don't mind that my bra shows when I wear these I just tend to wear like a black bra with this or a white bra with the white one or nude but it's such a great like fun little detail for a tank top 
And then I have a lighter wash skinny jean. I love wearing this with all of my white pieces as well as this yellow blouse. This blouse is from the brand Alexis. Um, it's a few seasons old. It has like the cold shoulder look and it's just so, I've worn this for lunchtime events. I've worn it for evening. I just love this blouse. It really stretches to so many different like areas of what I'm doing in my life. So it just looks so nice and fashionable that I highly recommend like a fashionable blouse in your capsule. So I'm also including a black skinny jean. This is it's called the looker zip ankle step zip ankle from mother jeans these I will say I bought from rent the runway rent the runway if you're not familiar with it it's a company where you can rent garments and you don't have to buy them you just pay a monthly rental fee and I had rent the runway unlimited which I could do unlimited swaps to new garments and I saw these and I fell in love with the fit and I just know how hard it is to find good jeans that I purchased them. The one thing I will say, they wore out really quickly around the knees. So I just recently did a writ dye bath with my black jeans and it's something I never would have done. I'm such a person where, you know, if my black jeans wear out, I will just repurchase a new pair kind of in that same style but these were so expensive i think they were 180 dollars and i just felt like for 180 dollars and to only get like three four months wear out of them before they started fading like a two dollar writ dye packet was such a great solution for me and i will continue to dye these um I also have a few dresses on here. This is from Alice and Olivia. This is such a nice dress because I feel like it could be dressed up and dressed down with like a pair of cute white sneakers. And it's off the shoulder. It's not too form fitting. It's a great like transitional summer piece. Um, I feel like this could even be worn in the winter time with tights and like a really beautiful coat, like a winter white kind of thing. So it's really beautiful to me. This dress is from Lulu's. This is, you know, more of a summer, spring piece to me, but it has the tassels around the hemline. And I just love wearing easy dresses that I can wear a bra, bra with that, you know, I just feel comfortable in. And when you wear a dress like this, like a spring dress, you don't have to think about what top and pants I'm gonna wear. It's just, that's the dress. It's just easy to grab and go. and. One less decision you have to make, and I just love this specific one. This is a white denim jacket. I don't know this brand very well. I know I bought this from a boutique um, close to where I get my hair done. It's called Unina, but I just, I know it wasn't very expensive, but I've already worn this so many times, and I reach for it more than I would expect because I just think it looks great with denim and dresses. It looks perfect with like any floral, any sort of like interesting jumpsuit or dress. I don't like to do white on white, so I would never do that, but I've worn this so often and it's such a great like sturdy piece to like keep me warm if there's a slight chill or something that day. This is a tweed blazer from Zara and it's about a three quarter sleeve or like you know, goes a little higher than my wrist, but I love these blazers from Zara. I feel like the sizing is really weird. I typically have to buy a size large and then it's like a little boxier in the waist, but I definitely like that. It's the shoulders I find are so like narrow cut that I have trouble like finding the perfect Zara blazer. So when I do, I hold on to them because I think they're just so beautiful and gorgeous. This has like sequins throughout and there's these beautiful pearl buttons here too. And I just feel like this is a year round piece. I love wearing this with black jeans. I've worn it with like denim as well, but something I really like gravitate towards with black. This is a little vest from Zara too. I think it's just a really crisp, 
beautiful beige vest. You can wear like a long sleeve top with it. You can wear a sleeveless top with it. And it just looks so great on and classy. And when I need to like dress up a little bit, it's just something I reach for. This is a Zimmerman jumpsuit. This is, you know, a few years old, but Zimmerman really makes their clothes to last. And if you've ever purchased any of their pieces, everything is made in silk. And I feel like they're kind of timeless at this point. Like they do a really great print and the fit is nice and the quality is nice. And this jumpsuit, I just love. I've worn it with heels. I've worn it with beautiful like jewel sandals and I've worn it with white sneakers and I just feel really good in it. And this is just has to be in my capsule. So this is a little dress from Lulu's. It's the brand called Lush. I haven't worn it yet because I did buy it in the winter time. And I'm really excited to wear this dress because it's a midi length, but it has a split right here. And I just like this color. It's not something I normally would buy, but I'm definitely really excited to start wearing this this coming spring and summer because I just feel like it could take me to a lot of places and it could be dressed up, it could be dressed down. This dress is an Amazon find. I believe this is like a bestseller dress on Amazon. So many bloggers have worn it and I just, I saw it on a blogger and I just had to get it. I think it was $20, $26, something like that. It's a rayon dress. It has an elastic waist. There's a button here to like close your neckline up so you don't really see your bra and it just has the prettiest print it has a sleeve it's pretty modest and it just looks so good on you just look like a boho goddess wearing this dress it comes in so many different colors and i really like the blue and i just love this dress i feel like it could take me to the beach it could take me like i wore this to a birthday party that was in the forest and I just felt like, you know, so great in this dress because it's also kind of warm because it's long. This is a little top. I haven't worn this yet. This is from Kate Spade. Um, I just fell in love with this on someone. She was wearing it with black jeans and I just love this detail of this like jeweled button on the cuff and I'm excited to wear this. It buttons up the back, which I don't know if that will be annoying or not, but I just think it will look so good with black jeans, maybe even with white jeans. So I'm excited to give this a go. This, this is a Zara top. This is a cheetah like print with black collar and cuffs. And this is old. This I bought on eBay and I saw it on someone else and I just, love the way it looked because it has this like Dolce & Gabbana feel and I just feel like you can go a lot of places in it. I like to wear black with this top, specifically black jeans, and it's such a great elegant top. You could wear it to dinner, you could throw on heels. I mean, it's a really great like substitute, like especially in the winter time, I find that, and it's colder out, I find that I like to gravitate more towards like a beautiful blouse versus a dress and like a blouse and pants and heels just to stay warm, but still look elegant. This top is from Proenza Schuller. This is, I bought it secondhand, but it's a great little black and white striped top. I love it with black jeans worn it with any other color I don't think I would I think this sticks with black jeans but that's kind of my favorite so I have two turtlenecks on my rack and this one is much warmer than the second one I will show you this is by a brand called Brunello Cuccinelli and I am like not allergic but I'm very sensitive to wool and I have to wear, like if I'm gonna wear cashmere, I have to wear the highest grade quality cashmere, which I have found that Brunello Cuccinelli makes the best. I think Floro Piano also makes really great cashmere. This, something like this, this turtleneck sweater retails for probably $3,000. I think I paid about 200 for this on uh, eBay and it was gently used and it's 
this is like my third winter I have, have had this and I have no plans to get rid of it. It's so beautiful and delicate and soft. This is another black turtleneck. This is from the brand Splendid. It's 100% cotton and it is one of the most comfortable black turtlenecks. I ordered like almost every single one from Nordstrom and Amazon just to kind of compare the qualities of every single one. And this by far wins to me. I just love soft cotton fabrics on my skin. I like silks and I like very expensive cashmere. So I highly recommend the black splendid turtleneck. This is my Barefoot Dreams cardigan. I, it's so old. It's probably like five, six years old right now, but I have no plans to get rid of it. And this is when they used bamboo in the production. Let me see. Yeah, this is 25% rayon from bamboo. And I feel like the quality has gotten, gone down way, way down for Barefoot Dreams. And all of the new ones that I've purchased from Barefoot Dreams, I've sent right back because I just can tell the fabric either like starts shedding all over the place. There was one that I bought that literally was shedding all over my black car and I was like this is crazy like my black one never shedded so I I'm holding on to this because it's warm I layer it I layer this with it you know a long sleeve or a turtleneck and then throw on my winter coat when it's freezing so it's a great piece to have this is another tweed jacket from Zara this has these white cuffs that, that are detachable and then these rhinestone buttons uh, once again, I'm a large in this, which I normally, like, I'm about a size four, but I have to wear large in Zara jackets because of the shoulders. <laughs> if anyone also has that problem, please comment down below to let me know I'm not crazy or have a weird body. But yeah, this is a great jacket. I feel like I've gotten so much use out of it. It looks great to dress up for a nice dinner and the same with this little jacket this is from Dries von No 10 this has like a beautiful dragon embroidered on the back this is not something i normally would ever ever buy but i shop at this um thrift store here in los angeles that just gets like the most interesting pieces and when i saw this i was like oh a cute little bomber jacket and because i'm not really a bomber jacket kind of girl but this was just so interesting to me. It's all silk. It has this dragon beaded on the back. Like it's cropped in length. So it hits me in a good spot. And I've just gotten so much wear out of this. Just layering it with a t-shirt and jeans. And people are always like, what jacket is that? Like, is that a dragon? It's like, it's such a focal talking point. And I just love the construction. I think it's so beautiful. I have no plans to get rid of this anytime soon. But yeah, that is kind of everything that I plan to be using for um, probably like the next five to six months. I have some pieces that are not on here because like I said, they are for like my winter wear, my lounge wear, my, my athletic wear. And then I have like six to seven dresses that I have purchased to use for like my wedding related events, like my bridal shower, my bachelorette party and a rehearsal dinner and my wedding gown. So I have like kind of a wedding area going on in my closet and a honeymoon <laughs> like outfits, which don't really make the cut for this rack. Um, but like looking at those pieces too, because I've had to purchase like so many different outfits like for these events coming up, it makes me really like cautious about like, and like really evaluating them. I'm like, why did I buy that? Because I know I'll only get one use out of that. and. So going forward, I really am trying to buy pieces that I know I'll rewear again and again and that I want. And maybe the style won't be like as perfect, but that's kind of what I'm gonna go with. And if I can't find pieces that will really transition from, you know, evening or a special event to rent every day, then perhaps I'm just gonna stick with rent the runway. But that's just, you know, what I have on my rack. And thanks guys for watching. These are all my favorite pieces and some great new pieces and I'm excited to wear them. Uh, but yeah, thanks for checking out my channel. If you guys are interested in more content like this, I try to film once a week and yeah, hit the subscribe button down below.